All right, man. So this is the most efficient way to get centerpieces. As you can see in this one, I'm not done with it because I'm mainly the cover up. Plus, this is one of the ones that takes the longest, at least in my opinion. I mean, these bottom ones are pretty easy. And then, yeah, the street. Yeah, I say that because of the streets. But, yeah. So, I don't know. I would say the easiest in order would probably be Nah, triple threat would take longer, but you get one at 125. I'd probably say this season would be clutch time because you get one at 50 down here, right? And you get another one at, at 100. That's two. Then, honestly, triple threat. You get one at 125 this time. So I need to work on that. And then you get one at 250, which that honestly takes a lot long time but that's just for one and then you have unlimited that's one of the longest ones um yeah you get one at six thousand which is the regular thing you always get and then you get one at nine eight fifty basically ten thousand and and you have triple threat online which you get one at fifty and then you get one at a hundred where's it at down here yeah, as it shows there. So that's literally double from all the past seasons. So the way I would rank that is obviously this is one of the easiest ones besides the end of the Russell, but I've already done that one. And Wind Street ones, that's kind of tough. I feel like that's the hardest one. Then you would go, then I would go at least clutch time both of them then then triple threat then triple threat online and then unlimited but yeah I would definitely look to complete these first but yeah especially like as I said before this one down here is very easy besides that the end of the Russell one all the rest of them are kind of straightforward. You can just hop in the game and mess around. And yeah. Plus. But I didn't. I probably mentioned it before. But like the co-op thing is kind of tough. Because. All my friends play something different. But you know. I just had to match up with somebody. In like a Twitch chat or a YouTube stream or something like that and do that because it's only three in a row and it could be all fun. I mean, that would probably take like 15, 15 minutes at the most. And that's just me stretching it up. And then also, there's also these two to get centerpiece is one of the easiest ways if you haven't racked up. But that's 3,000 in total. I don't know if somebody be playing this game that much to have 3,000. But if you do. That's ultimately the easiest ones in the token market. There was two last season. They added two more this season. But yeah, man, that's about it. I might drop another tips and tricks video later on, but appreciate y'all for watching.